Truck is XTV on air. We are now live in three, two, one. Let us begin. Can I talk to you? Um, Senpai, I am so sorry. Seeing me trying to act like Cosme might have been so painful and awkward for everyone. Everyone must have noticed that I was acting strangely. They were pro probably being nice to me, knowing I just lost my sister. But even then, I had no idea I was even supposed to be sad. I had to remember that my sister was gone. When my coach told me to think about who I really am, I thought it was just figurative. Something about my slump? I was just living my life, like I didn't even care that she was gone. I can't take that shame. Uh, it wasn't on purpose, could what be done. Dude, there are all freaking zeros in this, what the heck? Well yes, but even then, how can I forgive myself? Ever since we were kids, Kasumi was always the one who decided what I did, what I chose, where I went. I couldn't do anything without her. I suppose it's clear why my grades weren't going up as much. I was never on Kasumi's level to begin with. I was so pretentious, so wrapped up in my own stupid little problems. I was too self-absorbed to do anything. Don't beat yourself up to it. I'm sorry, I lost my composure. Can I talk to you? I'm starting to remember things from our past now. It's hard, but I'm trying. There's a lot. It covers everything starting from when Kasumi and I first got into gymnastics up until just recently. I just want to I want to talk about how it used to be for Kasumi and me. Would you listen? Um Kasumi started gymnastics really early and I was even younger so I copied her in almost everything. I went to the class too. I was too little to really understand the sport or the rules, but everyone praised me when I did well. The coach would get me a little rewards like ice cream cones. We did our best trying to learn the moves and routines since it kept getting us ice cream. It's were close then. Yes. We were together every day. We ate our favorite ice cream together. We talked, we laughed. Those days were so fun. And one day, around when we started going to junior meets, Kasumi asked me if we can be number one in the world. Does that mean we'll get all the ice cream we can eat? All with, all with a straight face, of course. She could be really funny sometimes. <laughs> so obviously I told Kasumi, you're a super genius. That is genius. genius. She really was a genius though. Everything came so easy to her, and every day she only got better. You remember that what my coach said, Senpai? That my, well, that Kasumi's greatest weapon was her boldness. Kasumi was always so bold, she was like a beacon of confidence. So. And one day I realized I never catch up. It didn't matter how hard I tried, I have consol consolation prizes for the rest of my life. Kasumi was always the one on top, up on the podium. But even when she won her ice cream, she never ate it without me. I always told her not to worry about me, but she still said she'd wait until we could enjoy it together. She really believed in me. She said we'd be best in the world someday. She had her own practice to do, to do but she, had, she was always so busy helping me. She spent hours trying to help me. She cared about you. She was so kind and strong. She was the perfect older sister. Kasumi's kindness was so infuriating. Why? She was always the one on the podium surrounded by flashing cameras, but all I could do was watch from the shadows. I'm not Kasumi, and no matter what I do, I'll never be like her. If she'd just given up on me, it wouldn't have hurt so much. At least then, people would have stopped trying to compare us. It must have been hard. Like running away. Yes. If you prefer, yes. I wanted to run away. I was only thinking of myself. The thought kept coming back every day. My mind went back to it. Everyone would be better off if I didn't exist. Either that, or I should just be Kasumi. She's the one people really want. Sumi Ray is the one who's useless, pointless. Who would care if she died? But my sister died instead. <laughs> Why did she have to protect an idiot like me? I, I watched her. You have to accept it. Try something. So, blah blah blah. I can't do that anymore. I told myself I wouldn't hide from it. Senpai. I can't stop here. Now I want to keep doing gymnastics as Sumire. 
I want to hit those heights Kazumi was aiming for. Otherwise, I'd never be able to face her. Please, listen to me. Will you keep going out with me now that I'm Sumire? I want you to hold me to this, to make sure I don't run away from who I am again. I will. You can manage that. That's part of the deal. Blah, blah. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess that's what Sumire, that's who I am. I have to be stronger, both in my heart and with my gymnastic skills. Maybe some other time. But for now, Sumire Yoshizawa, and it's nice to meet you again. Can we make it all the way up to 10? I don't have enough time for this. If negation, blah, blah. All right. I got four days plus some free, six, two other dons to raise it up, so whatever. All right. You know. And I realized that I, I had the mic off the entire time, so I don't know what the heck I just read. But Cosmi was probably so disappointed in me, I got tired of so so quick. I know I, I disappointed myself at least. Cosmi never doubted herself for a second, and then there's me. Oh, I think it's almost time for my coach to show up. I'm kind of nervous. Is she scary? Yes. If he, he could say that, she's tough on us, but she's a great mentor. Mentor. She's been helping Kasumi and me for a long time. Even though all my stupid delusions as Kasumi, she never stopped helping me. I don't know what I'd do without her. Oh my! Hello, coach. Hiru Hiraguchi. Sumire. Maybe it's just my imagination, but you seem like your old self again. Yes, I'm sorry I'm, I worry, worried you. Um, I've been running away from what happened to my sister. So you realize. Are you okay now? Please. To me. I'm totally back to norm to my normal self, but I'm working towards a new goal. I want to be the best in the world, so now I'm going to do what I can as Sumire. I see. By the way, who's this? This is my senpai from school. We both came here for a lesson. Oh, so you're... Fine, let's have you go first, Sumire. You can start with your combination. Uh, yes. Yes, ma'am. Huh? Talking about gymnastics or fighting? She got some amazing moves. That was so freaking fast. She really got those aggressive moves down. She really is just like her sister. Okay, you can take a break. We'll do some more later. Thank you very much. Thank you for bringing me here. Coach? Coach Hiraguchi, thanks for all your help today. So how did I do? I tried to put some real force into that combination. You said you were going to perform at Sumire this time. I didn't see that at all. All I saw there was Kasumi, or a shadow of her, at least. <sighs> what? Kasumi defined her performance by her boldness, yes. But that's not something you can appropriate for yourself. It came from the energy within her. That's what made, that's what made, Kar that's what made her Kasumi. I told you to think about who you really are. Seems like you still don't understand what I meant. You need to stop hiding behind Kasumi. If you keep denying yourself like this, how can you? How can she still call you her rival? <gasps> What's that supposed to do? I never wanted to draw attention to it, but Kasumi had a very competitive streak. She hated to lose. She would always tell me she was so jealous of her little sister. And her delicate, graceful style. I can't lose to that. Le can't lose to her. She said, "She wanted you to see that." She said that. That's impossible. Cosme could do anything, and I was nothing. I said all I wanted to say, but I suggest you think a little harder about it. Okay, it's your turn now. Get ready. Oh uh, yes, ma'am. <sighs> uh, you okay? Thank you, but I'm fine. I noticed she was quite impressed with your physical abilities. Compared to you though, I was pitiful. Me? Graceful? Now that I think about it, I guess that that's the one thing my coach used to compliment me on. But even with that, I couldn't match Kasumi's performance at all. 
And now she says Kasumi saw me as a rival? I don't believe it. I... I mean, all I was doing was imitating her. Ever since the beginning, I was just following Kasumi. What was fine in the beginning? I loved being with Kasumi and it was fun. Ever since I started noticing the difference in our gymnastic skills, one thing became clear. I'll always become be someone less than Kasumi. I'm just worthless after all. This isn't true. That isn't true. Thank you very much. Thank you for saying that, Senpai. So, something occurred to me when Coach told me what Kasumi said. I realized just like she wanted to show me what she could do. I still want you to see my own abilities. You remember? Like when I tried to show off back at the batting cages? <gasps> Maybe that's what I need to chase. Maybe that feeling can help me get some confidence. It sounds like even Kasumi like my more subtle, subtle and delicate moves. So if I mix it with her aggressive style, it'd be like a duet. Right, maybe I'll be able to step up my routine. If the key here is to showing you what I can do, then I just need you to watch me again. Senpai, will you go out with me again? Of course. Thank you so much. As long as I've got you behind me, Senpai, I can keep moving forward. Three more to go! Chance to cure a status element. Alright. I need three more days to do this, and then we can go back to our regular routine. I'll think about what else I can do when I figure it out. I'll let you know. Oh, it's time already? Let's get going. Alright. Good effort. <clears throat> this is This is This is so working for you. I know you said you wanted people to see you, so I put together something a little more wild and eye catching. Ew. Is that Sumi Ray? Wow, it's like I'm a totally different person. You got some of the, that carnivore energy and a little herbivore with meekness too. The savannah type style will definitely turn heads. I see. Well, I guess it's important to have a balanced diet. Let's walk up to her. You got to be kidding me! You coward! Uh, I want to surprise you, so I got here too a little early to dress up. Wait, on a side note, our freaking gun is dauntless. We have to be at full max? You got me messed up on that one, Chief. I tried to assemble based on the staff's advice, but what do you think? I've definitely been getting attention in this. Some people are even staring. This sort of started showing off my own style, right? You're standing out, alright. No. You don't like it? I thought it was a pretty cool outfit. Well, to be honest, I could tell some of this was a little off. I mean, they said they are leopard spots, but it could just be just as easily be some kind of mutant giraffe. Anyway, I should change. I thought this might help me find some answers, but I guess I didn't go in with much of a plan. So once again, I totally misinterpreted everything and made no progress at all. Classic Sumire. I wasn't like this when I was looking for my father's glasses. I feel like I'm doing so much worse than when I thought I was Kasumi. I don't even know how I'm worth showing off, let alone how to do it. Uh... Thank you so You're right. Much. I have you, Senpai. I need to make sure you see me, see the real me. Okay, I don't have time to be lost in my thoughts. I'll find some clothes that'll help me show off my true self. But still, look at how many different styles there are. But, uh, huh? Why does this sweater have a hole? Where is the string going? Um, what do I do now? This is a lot harder than I thought. Mm. This isn't it. All these clothes are very stylish, but I'm not sure I really want to be seen in them. How do I want to be seen? Or how do I want Senpai to see me? Why me? What is it? Please don't stare at me like that. Uh, you started it. What? I can't look at you? Well, yes, but if you look at me, I don't know what to do. Oh, right. Maybe it shouldn't be that one-sided. If I give other people attention, then surely I get the attention in return. 
I think I get it. Oh. I think I'll try on this one. Huh? Alright. Okay. I see ya. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Wait, you're actually talking? Wow. What do you think? Looks great. Really cute. I'm in love. What? What did you just say? What did I think you said? You said you're in love? Uh, um... We're in there, boys. With the outfit, right? You're just in love with the outfit. Don't worry, I get it. Sorry, I know you didn't mean anything by it. I wasn't ready. I mean, my heart wasn't, so I'm kind of... Hold on, I need to calm down, okay? Deep breaths. I'm so happy! Yeah! We're in there, boys! But I really am happy to hear that. Thank you for letting me show you a part of myself. I made up my mind. Um, can you wait here for a second? I need to get go buy this out that whatever outfit. Buy it. Thank goodness. I'm so glad I found something good. Uh, did I help? Of course. Thanks to you, I think I realized something. When I first saw this piece, I kind of fell in love with it. And um, it's a little embarrassing to say this, but my first thought was that I couldn't wait for you to see it, me in it. <laughs> I wonder what kind of face you make, or how do you react? I want to see that side of you. Oh, um, I don't mean anything weird by that. I just wanted to show myself off to you, I guess, to see you and be seen. The more I thought about it, the more important that feeling became. And then suddenly I just realized I wasn't nervous anymore. I see. Oh. I've always been really bad at making decisions on my own. I mean, Kasumi always picked perfect things for me anyway. I never really knew making my own decisions could feel validating. So I didn't really feel a need to choose anything for myself. After all, nobody expected me to. But today I picked something because I liked it. And I felt confident in that. Even if you didn't like it, I don't think that changed how I feel about it. That should it be. That's how it should it be. Yes. I think so too. Is this what Coach meant? About Cosme wanting me to see how she felt? If that's true then. Did she really think I was? Well, I can't say for sure, but I think as long as I've got you supporting me, I'll be okay. All right. Now we should head home. Thanks for coming coming out with me today. Oh, should we should we go buy some clothes for you next time? You could always try on that Savannah assemble. I think I might even suit you better than me. Maybe. Maybe Ooh. some other time. Sorry for dropping in on on you like this. I hope it's not not too much trouble. It's no problem. It's holiday hours. Thank you. I just need to talk to you about something in person. <laughs> wow, it smells great. Thank you. Mmm, it's really good. Something about it is relaxing. Please, listen I think to I'll me. be ready to show Coach Hiraguchi my performance soon. And if you wouldn't mind, I'd like you to be there when I do. Is that okay? Definitely. Great, I'm so glad. But that's not what I came here to talk about. Um... Do you remember when I said when we went clothes shopping? I talked about wanting you to see me. And how that helped me stop worrying. Of course I do. I'm glad you remember. I was thinking about Kasumi. I wonder how she must have felt. Thinking she didn't want to lose to me. And wanted me to watch her. Maybe that's what we had in common. We both wanted someone specific to see our efforts, to see us where we are. As long as we have that someone watching us, we can stay strong. So... So I finally realized... something. I think part of Kasumi's strength came from that. I was the one she was thinking of. I never heard her say it, but... Maybe she'd been trying to tell me through her performance. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it took me this long to figure it out. I'm such an idiot. But I'm glad I finally realized it. Even as worthless I am, I hope I still help Kasumi somehow. Yes. Yes, I think so too. Kasumi's beyond any apologies I could give her. I can't tell her how I feel. She'll never see me perform. That's reality. And it, it's happened because of me. I've been running away from that for a long time. But I'm done running now. It's time to stand on my own two feet. 
and want to live for both of us now, for the sake of everything we wanted. I... I want to grow even stronger. Even if I end up in tears from fa failing a me, or if there's pressures too much for me sometimes, with Kazumi's confidence and the grace she recognized in me, I'm going to keep moving up. I'm going to show Kazumi who Sumire Yoshizawa really is. Alright. You know. Um, and so. Wait, what? Now that I'm committed to, you know, not running away from my feelings, I am. Um, there's something I need to tell you, Senpai. Uh, what's going on? Go ahead. Thank you very much. The nervous switch just kicked in, I guess. Uh, um... I realized it was less a matter of showing off and more wanting someone to watch me. That is, wanting someone special to watch me. Someone I want to have eyes on only for me. And I thought to myself, well, for me, that special person's ob obviously Senpai. So, so I think that means I'm a I'm a I'm a I love I'm, you. Wow, she said I should choose my words carefully. We really got like multiple girls. Um, but the last thing I want to do is make you uncomfortable. So, I love you too. What? You you love me back? Uh huh. So I guess that means it's mutual then. So um, what happens now? Wait, does that mean you'll be my boyfriend? Well, I'm. I mean, I guess that's what I'm hoping for. So, um, what am I saying? Calm down. Take your time. Sorry, I'm the one who confessed, and now I'm totally messing up. Honestly, I never expected I get this far. Who? Senpai. Would you look at me for a moment? I want to know if if it'll feel any different now that we're. Wow, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. You know what? Never mind. <gasps> Dude, do it on the wall, not the freaking table. Um. Do it on the wall, not the table. I'm so embarrassed. I I can't take it. I feel like I'm melting. What do I do? I'm so embarrassed, but I want to be even closer to you, senpai. I I love you. I always what? I'm in now in a relationship with Sumire. I always want your eyes on me. There's no turning back. Um, I think if we get any closer, we'll bump our glasses together. No. But we could always take them off. Do it now, foo! Hi. Or to me. Thank you very much. Sorry to keep you waiting. It looks like my coach is yet to arrive. I'm usually so nervous when Coach Hiraguchi watches my performance, partially because she's worked with me for so long. That's why I don't want to let her down. But today, today I'm excited about this. Oh, thank you. When you compliment me like that, I feel like everything's going to turn out well in the end. Ah. Thank you for making time to observe me today. I really wanted to get an unbiased evaluation from you. You got a good look on your face today, Sumire. Yes, ma'am. I'm confident in the routine I'm about to perform. Well, at first glance, I'd say you look like you've got it all figured out. But I'm here to gauge your performance, not just let you brag about it. Now, begin. Ma'am. Even her starting form's changed. Could this be your doing? You two are cute together. All right, let's start. <sighs> Thank you for watching. Hmm. 
You've grown so much, Sumire. I'm sure this is no surprise to you, but the path to international success will be harsh and relentless. Are you ready? Absolutely. I will be number one in the world of gymnastics. I will make our dream a reality. Glad to hear you're so sure. With your natural grace and dedication to reach the gauntlet, no matter how far it is from your grasp, your dream is no longer impossible. And you're the one who decided that, not me. Huh? You didn't even realize it, did you? Today's the first time you've told me you will win on an international level. Until today, you'd only tell me, I hope I win. Oh! Perhaps you even have someone special. The person who makes you want to dance just for them? Well, that's... um... I... uh... My, it seems you haven't quite made a total transformation. It's good to hear you have someone who really understands you in your corner. Your performance today truly was impressive. I'm looking forward to your next lesson already. Coach. Me too! Coach Hiraguchi liked my routine. Happy doesn't even begin to describe how I feel. I'm super duper happy right now. Thanks to you, I feel like I finally found the answer I've been searching for, as well as discovering what's most important to me while performing. When you just come out and say it like that, I can tell I'm getting embarrassed. I've learned all sorts of things from my time with you. Now, I can show everyone how I really feel, and the two of us can take the crown of the gymnastics world. I am thou, thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of faith, granting the infinite power. All right. All right. This is the new me. I finally found it. All right. Does she have a third form like everyone else? Van Vanadis? I know it's a bit late, but I can feel my body start to shake. I think it's finally hitting me. I managed to really give it my best. You're right. This is just my own starting line. Senpai, I have a favor to ask. Um, will you hold me tight? Like before? <sighs> oh no, I thought this would stop my shaking, but now it feels like my heart's about to burst. <sighs> don't you dare! I don't want you letting me go. If I can just hang on to this warm place in my mind, I feel like I can push myself further than I've ever gone before. I love you, Senpai. Now and forever. Evade, curse, we got like... Uh, I don't know which one to get rid of. Um, we'll leave the healing to you know who. 